Alright guys, in today's video with TrueCut RD Works, we're going to be looking at the Edit Node tool, which will be located on your drawbar. But before that, let's have a quick intro first. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.co.za. We make short and easy to watch problem solving videos and we also have daily updates. Otherwise, back in the program here. Now, just a quick reminder, this is a mini series on the draw bar, which is this bar here on the left. And I will also leave relevant links in the description so you guys can actually follow along. Now, if for any reason you do not see your bar, you can always go to your main menu on top, go to view, and then we look at the draw bar. It's got a little right mark. So if it does not like uh, below here, you just simply click on it and it should bring it back. And now when it comes to the edit node tool, which is the second tool, if we have this selected, you'll see it opens up this little extra panel with extra settings. Now the node um, or the edit node is a tool you're going to be using to edit any form of path and so forth. So if we have this rectangle or square, you can see we've got the nodes over here. If we had to make just a straight line and select it with our node edit tool, you'll see we also have these same points. So now with this tool, we can um, modify and customize these now this is going to be more of an overview of the node edit tool um, we'll try to go into more depth in the future on how to actually work it so now if we simply had to just go down the list of extra options you get so first of all we've got the add node so you can use this to add new nodes we've got the lead node and uh yeah but uh, on the add just something to add <laughs> sorry um like if you had to click here on a line just with your normal um, node edit tool selected, you'll see it gives us this red little node point. But if I had to click off it, it's no longer there. Now you'll be using that thing combined with add node. As you can see, now this thing is blue. So now if you had to click that, you'll see it adds a node. So it's just a little side note in case you're trying to add a node and you realize it's not working. Then next up here underneath that, we've got combined nodes and um, break nodes. So if you had to select a node, you can break it with this one. Or what you can do is if you've got an open path, so basically a path that is not joined like this, you can select two nodes and then simply um, join them again. That's what those ones do. Then underneath that, we've got line to curve and to line. So what this will do is the one will give you um, uh, turn your curve into a straight line like this. And then with another one, we can actually turn it into like a curved line. So if you want to make your next shapes, and that's what those two are for. You can obviously edit them. Um, sorry, I'm not sure why I'm not getting this point. Doing that all day. In any case, so then, um, yeah, there we go. So. Yeah, and then obviously you can turn these nodes back into straight lines using those options. But yeah, that is it as a kind of overview on this. Like I said, we'll try into more depth on how to actually use it. But I think if you just kind of follow what you saw there, you should already be able to get up and running with it. Otherwise, we head here to softwaretraining.co.za. You guys will notice we've got a variety of different softwares we do cover. And also you can isolate your search on the top right. If you guys do not, however, find the videos you're looking for, just go here, yeah, request a training video, then we will make that video for you. But otherwise, thanks guys for watching and cheers.